I am a little nervous to be filming this video. I have filmed this video like twice, I believe, no, maybe like two to three times. I know I wanted to do it way back a few months ago. I did not like it. I didn't like the last one and the one that I recently tried to film. My memory card thing kind of broke and now it won't work in my laptop. It'll work in my camera, but I can't really get the clips off from there because I don't know how to use it. Anyways, I need to get through this video because I have like a four gigabyte. So that's what I'm stuck with using for right now. And I turned my air off and it's kind of hot and I got a blanket on, but yeah, I'm weird. I like to have a blanket on me because it makes me feel comfortable. If you are viewing this video, hi, I am a Royal Renee on YouTube. And if you hear Connor, he's asleep. Oh no. I'm Christmas. Yeah. Okay. So I had to get my son asleep. He did wake up. But this is going to be a let me do my intro, hold up. If you are viewing this video, then hello, my name is Unroyal Renee. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a YouTube channel where I, where I do videos that are to my interest and to where I don't really focus on one topic. That's my mic on. I don't like to focus on one topic and I also don't really do a lot of makeup videos because I've come to realize they are just not my cup of tea. I don't even really watch the popular YouTube YouTube guru makeup people. Oh, also, I noticed somebody subscribed to my YouTube channel. On YouTube, it doesn't really tell me what their name is or anything like that anymore. But if you're viewing this, then hi. Shout out to you. Thank you for subscribing as well. Okay, so to start off this video, we're gonna take this alarm. Okay, so this is going to be a get those questions. I cannot talk. Get those questions answered. No. <laughs> get those taken questions answers number two video. This is from Nikki D. Mars question assumptions video and I wanted to steal them and answer them. Um, I'm not sure if I'll include the ones that don't really relate to me. I did put them on here just in case I decided to answer them and put them in the video. Also, I got this uh, coffee mug. It says pumpkin spice for life and there's some coffee stains. Don't mind that. <laughs> I love love pumpkin spice creamer it needs to be all year round i don't know what they're thinking got pumpkin spice in my coffee right now cheers some of these questions are questions that i'm nervous to answer in my last video i was going to film it or edit it but at the same time i did feel how i was not really being myself when I was answering these questions. I mean, I did answer them honestly, but I just feel like maybe the world doesn't need to know the whole story. <laughs> you smoke weed. I don't have a problem with weed. I don't have a problem with it if you are safe with it and responsible, but I'm not really, I mean, back then, I would not mind because you know, I didn't have a kid back then. I was just living mine. Um, but now I have a kid and I just, I don't mind it if you are safe and not too just smoking it so often unless you have like, isn't it used for like medical reasons too? But I just, I like people to be responsible if they're around me. I don't have a problem with weed. I, really don't. I love the smell of it. <laughs> you tried drugs. Can't 
you're going to move back to PA. Never been to Pennsylvania. My granny, I believe she was born there. I do want to travel. I would like to travel to some states. Pennsylvania was never really like mm -hmm. the joy of filming with a Ford Ginta. I tell ya. My camera cut out. Yeah, I just, I would not, Pennsylvania was not one of the top places I would visit. Always been New York. <laughs> you are the same person off camera. I don't think that I'm the same person off camera. When I'm off camera and around people, I can't really show my weird side in the way that I can just like say the things that I do on camera. I, I do, I am that type of person who doesn't like to act the, the weird parts of themselves around people because you just, you don't want to get that look, you are so stupid. On camera, since I don't really film with other people around me, I am just more weird and can just do the weird things that I do. So. You're jealous of Gabby. I mean... I have no makeup on right now. I'm currently waiting for Shocky to get here, my limo driver. You like BDSM. This is like a like role playing sub submiss submissive dominant I find role playing you know, attractive. <laughs> I feel awkward with this. I just feel like I wouldn't be able to do it because I'm so shy and I would be sweating and that's just not, not attractive. Now it's it. Loki a bitch, but like also not a bitch. I can be a bitch when I want to be. If you are disrespectful to me, I can't really put it in me to just leave it at whatever it is and just walk away. I'm trying. I am trying, if I find it to be bullshit and just, you know, annoying, I'll just try to leave the situation at what it is and just walk away. If I, like, get called something I don't like or, you know, if you're just, like, really disrespectful on purpose or anything like that, I, yeah, I, I am not the nicest person. You have built a personality around a hair color. My hair color is black, and no, I love hair colors, and I really want balayage hair. So, yeah. When you're in love, you give your all into the relationship. I ever said no to this one, but now that I am thinking of the relationships that I've been in and like what I would do for a person, I would say yeah. Well sometimes it's just, it's not good, especially when you have been put through some crap. I have learned my lesson, you know. I know that I have a certain point where I just need to let someone out of my life. <laughs> I don't really like the term gay. I prefer the same sex. There's assumptions of the same sex. So I'm just gonna read them off. Your mom gay. You a lesbian. You're bisexual. I am very much for gay pride. 100% sure that I am straight. I don't mind two, you know, womenly bodies together. I prefer the male sexual part. Mm -hmm. Here is a clip of my favorite acting lesbian couple. I just turned. Is not one of them, though. 
I think you're shy. I am very shy. I would like to believe I can come out of my comfort zone, though. But yes, Keisha is shy. She, she doesn't like it about herself, but she admits it to herself. And that's just good enough for me, because I was to a point or a place where I did not want to admit it. But I believe I can come out of my comfort zone. That you're kind of an introvert, but you still have a good social life, and you're really down to earth. My social life is dead. The only people I really talk to is when I'm at work. I don't really have a lot of people that I text or call, like friend-wise. And I got rid of my Facebook. I found it pointless to have. At the same time, I want to keep it because of my Facebook page. I can be an introvert when it comes to being around a crowd of people, but like when it like is just going out and being all out and about doing something, I think I'd be nervous, but I know I would also like be for it, you know, because I do like to do stuff rather than sitting in a house all day. I just got sick of it, and I think I'm just like more wanting to be outgoing and do stuff. You know what you want in life. I would say yes, but whenever I try to work towards something that I want in my life, I either go through years of trying to work towards getting it, because I always come to these speed bumps in my road, and they always like either stop me or just I end up feeling like I'm at a dead end, so I got to figure something else out and that leads me to another dead end. Eventually I do get to where I am wanting what I want in my life. You want the Nikki and Gabby channel to end. I have a favorite video. I don't watch it like constantly or anything. It is probably the one that made me laugh the most out of their videos. I think you guys should go watch it because the one where Gabby is applying somewhere for a job is probably my favorite part of the video. You're short in real life. I am probably 5'9 or maybe like less. I, I am pretty satisfied with my height. Sometimes, sometimes whenever I'm around shorter people, I, I think I feel like a giant. That is all the questions. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, and if this is your first time looking at my channel, I would appreciate it. And only if you like the content. You don't have to subscribe, you know, just to be there. If you don't want to watch the videos, I don't see the point in subscribing. So, <laughs> But if you did enjoy this video, and if you would like to see more videos from my channel, then please subscribe. It would make me super happy. And, uh, yeah. Also, um, so this was meant to be filmed a while back. And I just, uh, whenever I first filmed it, I was going through, like, where I just, I didn't want to really film it because I wasn't in the right headspace and my mindset was just not great. And I was feeling insecure but also just upset of, at where I was in my life. But I just hope that anyone out there who's going through a hard time, uh, I just, I do believe that things do get better. Life is going to change. It's going to change for the better. I tell myself a lot that it'll change for the better, not for the worst. <laughs> I hope you're getting through whatever it is that you're going through, and to also watch some Danny Mansuti. Danielle Mansuti, go watch her. She makes awesome, awesome content for self-love and just loving yourself and feeling confidence and, you know, doing the right things in your life for yourself to give love to yourself. So go watch her. I really hope I'm still recording, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Have a good one. Don't listen to liars. Unless it's pretty little liars, okay? 
It's right.